What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Urban Beardsman. Today, we're talking heritage boots. Now, uh, I've written about heritage boots uh, a while ago on Urban Beardsman, and I kind of said every guy needs a pair of heritage boots. I want to talk a little bit about what are the advantages of going with a pair of boots with these, why they're so damn expensive, and uh, should you get them or not, and which companies you should go for. So this is uh, my pair of boots. This is from uh, a company here in Austin, Texas called Helm Boots. They make some really cool stuff. And um, I've had these boots probably for about a year, and, and my goal is to like, really beat them up to, to make them worn in. Um, there's really two school of thoughts with heritage boots. It's keep them primped and polished and looking their best or to beat the heck out of them and let them like really develop their own character that's kind of like raw denim where it tells the story of, of your life. So um, a heritage boot is essentially a boot that um, is a timeless design. It's a design that's been uh, around for for uh, decades, and it's kind of used as the work boot uh, for men back in the past. So it's going to be shoes like Red Wings, Iron Rangers, Chippewa's got some stuff, Oak Street Boots makers, they've all got their own uh, boot, and they all have like different levels of quality. Um, what you're going to see from those brands that you're not going to see uh, in the cheap boots out there is the type of construction they have on the sole. So you'll see here, uh, this sole is actually sewn in to the boot. And this is either called a Blake construction or a Goodyear construction. And you wanna go with this type of um, construction over a glue construction. Uh, and a lot of times a glue construction will have just like fake stitching or it'll look like rubber. Um, the reason is because when your sole starts looking like this, uh, I can take this into a, um, peddler or a shoe guy and he can go and fix it for me. He can drop in any kind of sole that I want. If I want like a rubberized sole where I want more grip or if I want to go back to it and do a rubber uh, leather sole, he can do that. Now uh, what's also going to be different between a cheaper boot and a high quality boot is the leather they use and not all leather is created the same. So uh, a high quality boot is going to use a full grain leather and a cheaper boot is going to use essentially metal, or excuse me, leather bits that have been like mashed together with glue and smushed into place and processed to hell. And why does that make a difference? Well, first of all, it's going to be able to last longer. You can scuff it up, you can wear it a little bit more, and if you need to polish it up, you can do that. Um, but probably the best reason uh, for me personally is Shoes don't stink. Man, that smells like the day that I got it. So a full grain natural leather shoe is going to be a lot more breathable than a processed or a, a manufactured leather. So this smells like, like I said, this is like the day that I got it. it it's nice. And you, don't, you won't see a lot of guys shoving their nose in a boot to smell. Um, so that's one advantage. And then like, the, for a high-end, like a, a helm quality type of boot versus um, like a Red Wing, a Red Wing's a really good boot, but what makes a helm boot step up a little more, it's all in the details. So you'll see on this boot, um, we've got this really cool uh, midsole, which is in white. So it's like a little bit of pop, a little bit of flare. You know me, I'm a little bit um, flamboyant. And then they do some other cool things like you probably can't even see this in here, but they've got a, a quote stamped in there. I could read it pretty well before uh, I started wearing the shoes, but I can't read it now. Something, something uh, that life has to offer is a chance to work hard at work worth doing, TR. So, something about work. But anyways, like, I truly believe, like these are my favorite pair of shoes. I truly believe that every guy needs to go out there and get a pair of high quality heritage boots. You're gonna be able to keep this from however old you are now until the day you die. 
you're going to be able to replace the sole. And like over time, the shoe is just going to mold to your feet. It's just going to like your, your ankle bone is just going to sit right in there. And then just the character that develops in the boot takes years. It takes years. It takes decades to really get a lot of that character and sole in the boot. And you can't have that unless your boot's going to last that long. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Go out there and get you guys some heritage boots. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Beard on.